In today's Mastercam video, what we're looking at is... Actually, hold on a second. What's, uh... What's this? Okay. Do it. Mm -hmm. Do it. No, don't do it. Please don't do it. What's the matter, Colonel Sanders? Chicken? You're crazy. I like you. But you're crazy. <laughs> Now this video is not going to be about what's in Windows 11, what the differences between the two. I just want to look at how Mastercam runs inside of Windows 11 today. Uh, I'm assuming things are going to change. This is the initial release of Windows 11. It's still very, very early. Uh, I don't think software developers have really prepared for it as far as releases that are geared towards this new, if it even is a new operating system or if it's just uh, a skin over top of the old one, which I think that's probably more so the case. Uh, but yeah, so there's Mash Cam. It's all opened up. I don't see anything different here so far. Um, what we can look at, maybe let's just do a quick uh, drilling tool path. This all looks the same. I don't see anything different. Uh, there's Windows. Oh, look, look at that. There's the big improvement in Windows 11 right there. We have rounded edges on our menu items now. So that's going to make things much, much faster, right? Uh, in a contour, the, look at the chaining menu again. That Things are rounded off. So... Um, I don't see much of a difference here, uh, but what we should do is run the benchmark file. We did a lot of benchmarking in Windows 10 and in Mashcam 2021 and in 2022 as well. So we can do a benchmark uh, in this, in Mashcam 2022. And oh, there's another difference there. So in my open menu, notice things are spaced out a lot more. Uh, makes it faster again, right? So I think this is more... I think they're trying to get uh, the touch interface so those that have touch screens you can actually touch on a file name without uh, fat fingering the wrong file. Uh, for most of us Mastercam users who are using uh, laptops, desktops, probably not a, a, a big bonus, but let's, uh, let's open up this benchmark file, run this, and see if we get any sort of difference as far as uh, the overall time to process this file takes. Okay, so I ran through the benchmark test, and looking at this, I clicked uh, rebuild it at uh, 6.35, completed at 10.04, do some math there, what are we, uh, 25 seconds to get to 7, so 25, 3 minutes, uh, plus 4 seconds, so 3 minutes and 29 seconds. Uh, that's pretty close to what I saw in 2022 on this, when it was Windows 10, I think I was about 3.20. So we're about 10 seconds longer, uh, you know, within margin of error. So I'm not seeing any difference here or any major difference. I don't know. I only ran this once. I guess I could run it three or four times and, and uh, really make sure. But I'm not about to do that. I just want to keep uh, browsing around and see if I can see anything that's causing problems as far as mash cam goes in Windows 11. So one thing I am noticing here is that the graphics just look a little bit better. Um, and I'm not sure if it's going to come through in the recordings or not, but uh, on my main monitor here, uh, this just looks a little bit better. I can't say that the graphics are better. I'm just saying that it, it physically looks, it, it just looks better than what it, it did in Windows 10. I know there is some HDR stuff inside of Windows 11, some automatic adjusting of HDR. I'm not sure if that's what's at play here. Uh, but I'm definitely noticed graphics just look a little bit better, especially in the simulation and with the uh, the models themselves. There's more reflectivity. There's more depth to the actual uh, the solids themselves. So I've been testing a few different things. Uh, we're just looking at a mill turn part running here, one of the demo files from uh, the Tech Exchange, and I can't seem to find any bugs. At least nothing that was new for Windows 11. Everything seems to be running just fine. Uh, the big difference being graphics seem to be a bit better, at least for me on my main monitor on this system here. Now there is one main other big factor for me, at least anyways, that I like about Windows 11. And I do run a multi-monitor setup here. And I have my one monitor that uh, when I'm away from my computer, that monitor will, will shut down and goes and it hibernates. And what happens with Windows 10 is Windows 10 forgets that I had stuff opened on that monitor. So my monitor comes back on when I wake the machine up and I have to bring whatever program I had on that monitor back over to it. Windows 11, you don't have to do that. So if you are one of those people that has a workstation, then you're constantly docking new monitors in or moving them out. 
uh, this feature in Windows 11 might be for you to upgrade for. Basically, Windows remembers what you had on what monitor if that monitor becomes disconnected and then you reconnect it. Uh, so for me, that's a big deal. I, I like that one. So I'm going to stick with Windows 11 for a little bit longer here and test it out and not quite give up on it yet. But again, if you are on the fence for this one, I'm not seeing any improvements that are groundbreaking and saying that you should update today or tomorrow for that matter. So until there's some major developments in this Windows 11, I would say hold off for now. Uh, again, unless you saw something in this video that piques your interest. But speaking of installing this, there's uh, there's one step that kind of catches everyone up as far as being able to upgrade, and it's the, uh, the, the main controversy with Windows 11, and that's this uh, TPM requirement. So basically, this is a function that's only in newer chips. Uh, and if you've already got a PC that's running Windows 10, it's probably not turned on. You have to go into your BIOS to turn it on, enable it, and then you'll be able to upgrade to Windows 11. So I'm not sure why the requirement's in there. That's a topic for a whole other uh, YouTube channel. But uh, just know that if you do want to upgrade to Windows 11, the TPM has to be enabled, and it's usually a function that needs to be done inside of your BIOS, outside of uh, Windows. So with that, we're going to wrap this video up, and if I see any changes in Windows 11, we'll come out with a part two.